you might like to use a paper pattern. Not only do they have all the instructions inside, but on the back you'll have exactly how much fabric and other bits you need. You might like to make blinds. Or do you want something that just sits on the sill? Do you want to have something quite fancy? Or a nice simple blind? You might want to add valances. Blinds are very good if you have a small window because sometimes curtains can look a little fussy. Although again you might just want to have a box top treatment. There are all different patterns available for all different skill levels. The next thing to consider is the hardware. What the curtains are to be hung from. Is it going to be a pole or is it going to be a track? Then you take your measurements for the length. You do this from the top of the pole all the way down to where you want the curtains to finish. And in this case, of course, that will be the floor. So this measurement is the length to which we're going to add headers and hems. Note this measurement down and then we're ready to do the width. Again, if you've got the pole up, you can simply take measurements from the outer edges of the brackets on the pole. Also remember, if you're using a track that has an overlap, you will need to allow extra in the width to cover the overlap. Most rods and tracks are positioned so that the inner edge of the brackets just clear the window frames. However, to make a window appear wider, simply choose a longer track and extend the width. Tracks should be positioned at least 10 centimetres or 4 inches above the window frame so that the curtain hooks will not be visible even from the outside. And for poles, make sure they're far enough above the window frame that when the curtain is hung from tab tops or curtain rings, it will still cover the whole frame. Another measurement to take if your window is close to the corner of the room is from the corner to the window. If it's less than 8 inches or 20 centimetres, there won't be adequate room between the wall and the window to properly open curtains, so consider one curtain hung from the other side. Having taken the width measurement and noted it down, we now need to consider the curtain fullness. This will be determined by the heaviness of the fabric and, of course, the header tape. Some header tapes will take up to three times or three and a half times the width, such as a pencil pleat, which pleats up very tightly and therefore uses a lot of fabric. Whereas a goblet pleat only pleats every now and then to get the goblet shape, and therefore you don't need as much fabric in the fullness. Also the weight of fabric. Heavyweight fabrics you require about two to one, so two widths to the actual width measurement, whereas a medium weight might be two and a half to three, and a light weight at least three to get the fullness and the richness that you would like.